as always, so we don't have any content in this game going around. I'm trying to find my way through the depths of the internet, through Reddit, trying to find something interesting to talk about. And this time around, I found this gem of a skin made by Noble Battlefly, who, by the way, was featured in one of my oldest episodes. And, and one reason why this instantly caught my attention here is for the fact that this is a CSGO reference, right? For all my people who play CSGO, who played CSGO, the Hyper Beast skins, I think, in my opinion, or the Hyper Beast M4, that's the original skin, is one of the cleanest, I think, skins in CSGO. Now, I've often wanted to see these in Valorant. I've said that the Battle Pass skins that we have look kind of like the Hyper Beast, like colorway-wise, but this Vandal right here, I think it, it definitely could be Valorant's way of implementing Hyper Beast into the game. We know Valorant is known for all the animations. We like seeing those extras on the weapon we don't like the basic skins too much and a skin like this definitely offers the opportunity to implement those crazy animations if i think about what could be possible with the reload animation if we just take a look at the mouth part here it's a crazy skin in my opinion if actually rendered into the game and the same thing goes for something like the toa judge you know the custom skin many of you guys should probably notice at this point and one of the best custom skins that i've seen in this game ever made period uh, something completely different we take the judge and we just make something completely different insane animation and I like what Noble Butterfly added to his post. We don't always need a full collection to release a skin, I feel. Like the community, I think, would appreciate single skins like the Judge, like the Vandal, for example, if it's a standalone collection, right? Just one skin. The Akane Sheriff, perfect example of, you know, standalone skins that actually work. People like those skins. It's special, right? It makes it more special, in my opinion, as, as long as the price is fair. But yeah, insane custom Vandal skin by Noble Butterfly. I'm going to link his stuff in the comments down below. Next up, we have the Blast Console Collection by Andrew Orozco, who I also featured in one of my previous videos. He is an associate artist at Riot Games. I'm also going to link his art station post down below. And this, I feel like, is the best attempt at a arcade collection type of thing in Valorant. I love the attention to detail with this one. You know, we had those skins in the beta, right? Arcade skins from the early stage of the game, I guess. You know, actually never released. But I think this is the closest attempt to, you know, just recreating something like that. And I love it. I think this is insane because, again, of the, you know, details that we have within this weapon. If we just take, you know, a look at the magazine, which actually is a game. We have the outputs, you know, on the weapon, which I also think amazing detail. And just overall, the custom weapon model looks nice. It, it definitely gives me a protocol vibe here. I'm not going to lie. And I will say I don't even mind the weapon choice here. I like the fact that it is a Bulldog and an Odin. You know, we don't always need insane skins on the Phantom and the Vandal. We can always use them on other guns. The knife obviously looks nice. I could see this being an insane dagger. And overall, again, the reload alone here, right? The reload animation, you know, the fact that you reload a game into the gun is like reason enough to, to make me want to buy these skins if this ever would be a real collection. Overall, insane skin. I'm going to link both of these guys in the comments down below in my description. Make sure to show them some love. Make sure to check out their stuff. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to subscribe down below. And with that being said, I catch you on the next one.